Hi everyone, this is Pastor Henry of Dixon United Methodist Church, and for today's devotion we will be in Isaiah chapter 62, verses 2 to 3. The nations shall see your vindication, and all the kings your glory, and you shall be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a beautiful crown in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. Pause the video and read those words from Isaiah uh, to yourself a few times. Then I invite you to reflect on the following question. What may it mean for you uh, that you are a beautiful crown in the hand of the Lord? What does it mean for you to be a royal diadem in the hand of your God? Julian of Norwich writes, For he wants us to know by the sweetness of his familiar love, that all which we see or feel, if we are moved to be more careless about our way of life or about the custody of our heart, because we have knowledge of this plentiful love, then we have great need to beware of this impulse. Julian of Norwich reminds us that we are called to respond. We are called to respond to God's love. That God's love doesn't mean we turn away from sin and injustice that we do not care for neighbor and stranger, that we do not unpack how we are complicit in systems of sin. No, experiencing God's love focuses us on cultivating our love for God, neighbor, and stranger. God's love doesn't mean we are called to do anything we want. Instead, God's love calls us toward justice and peace, making sure our neighbors feel loved, making sure that our neighbors' needs are met, making sure that all can experience a beloved community. I believe that this is what it means to be a beautiful crown, a royal diadem, not just something that looks nice or is aesthetically pleasing, but one also being the hands and feet of Jesus the Christ. So today I invite you to uh, take time to meditate. Try to meditate and be in silence for at least five minutes and during your meditation, imagine Jesus saying to you, see how I love you. See how I love you. And then after those five minutes at the end of your meditation, write down what emerged for you. And may you all have a blessed spiritual practice.